At that time, I get a call. Papa is in IC. There is silence, and my sister calls up and says, "Sunny, you have to leave. Take the first flight tomorrow." Not everyone is a born coach. Not everyone is a born leader. You are blessed with both the qualities: leader and a coach. It is not about diamond anywhere. It is only diamond with honey touch. You feel connected where you feel aligned, where you feel comfortable and safe. Who matches your values? Who is also walking the same path? Like this is why this diamond membership was very special. You didn't teach us theory. Come, Sunny. This is the book. These are the notes. Go, do it. It happened so effortlessly. With ease and peace, that you took us through a nice journey, a dance. Hey, welcome everyone to another Hall of Fame interview. This is my favorite part, where I get to interview some of the members of the Confident Storytelling Hub. who have achieved a significant milestone and i get a chance to interact and learn more and share their journey so today is another one of the one of those hall of fame interviews and we have a very special i won't say a guest he's actually a member an extended part of the family and he's none other than sunny nagpal also known as smiling sunny now before i ask start asking him some questions and ask him to share the journey i am going to read his introduction and i am very sure you are going to be floored by the introduction itself so sunny nagpal is a fingerprint based brain profiling expert and a zen coach zen stands for zestful enthusiastic and nurturing coach an international nlp certified trainer by american board of nlp and trekkel academy uk who has in depth knowledge of meta programs and all aspects of nlp has authored four books and has interviewed over yeah keep yourself push yourself hard because he has interviewed over 400 educators and has touched lakhs of lives with his spiritual energy as a school topper with astute mind in mathematics but he is still a mature adult with the heart of a child he has over two decades of experience working in the non government organization non government ngo sector and has been fortunate to work closely with the likes of dr kiran bedi and so on so forth and impacting over 1 lakh students his transformation from lack scarcity pain to abundance joy inspires his inner circle and clients to manifest their six figure monthly income and dream effortlessly without wasting any money on ad- paid ads or unnecessary technology his clients love him and bless him every day for his for their innermost shifts and fulfilling experiences welcome once again sunny ji so good to have you part of the community and so fortunate to interview for the hall of fame thank you so much thank you I awesome so and i love the experience you have given to all of us thank you i appreciate that so we heard a lot of your achievements but you know uh, how i do that right i want to know a little bit of your back story so tell <laughs> us about those parts of the introduction that you probably haven't shared much before and yeah of course you need to be comfortable but things that you generally don't talk about we will, we would love to know those aspect of sunny nagpal yeah sure it all started in school i was doing very well competent as for my brain design competency comes naturally to me i can crack exams without studying i can decode brains just by sitting in front of a person even on a zoom call so these were my super traits but what happened was on one side i was a pleaser i had fear of losing people fear of losing relationships i wanted validation appreciation from others and that is what came out in the coaching sessions with you it was not a keynote for me it was not a confident storytelling hub for me i found dosh tivastava to be a great life coach thank you he can make your story look like a great bollywood movie <laughs> 
and that is what gave a great sense of confidence or self image self worth you know that's why this lack to lacks yes that is what came out as a signature speech of the keynote as well and when we help our clients from scarcity mindset from lack mindset to a six figure income how do we do that only when we were there once only when i have been there yes i have experienced the pain so the one thing becomes your own wound your own pain wound into wisdom pain to purpose mess to message so that was clearly brought out because of your sessions and we grow as a person so it is not about confident storytelling hub how baat karte hain and let's talk let's become great speakers no in great company like yours where there is spirituality where there is a value of giving where there is an expanded mind of collaboration so it makes us a better human being so my biggest gift which i got in these sessions was growing as a person Thank and you. you bringing out the details the one more beautiful thing i remember from the sessions is yes you know a lot of times left brainers like me we may just tell sentences give facts bombard our knowledge abstract knowledge you made a point to hand hold to sit together to craft that abstract into a concrete beautiful storytelling taking into the scene so that audience visualizes and they are touched so so much to learn from you and it was a great journey thank you so much and yeah <laughs> it was amazing because i i i like to be very very honest with my coach especially these diamond members and i remember when we started off for the first one or two session i said there there is something which is not breaking because i i i figured out there there is a wall or there is something that you had put up and you were like okay i'm i'm going to be super i uh, know i'm going to tell all the sentences but i'm not going to go into the inner feelings go into what is happening inside and for a story to become powerful or connecting is the aspect of vulnerability and uh, I remember when we started digging into and when we we talked about and I'm going to probably ask you to see if you can repeat that uh, that particular portion when you got the call when you were in Delhi and then when you came back so tell us what happened with what we learned and with some of the nuances that we applied so tell me because this was one of my most favorite part of your story so of course it's a keynote it's a 30 minutes we can't go on to that but tell us that part what happened when you were uh preparing for something special and you got a special call yeah so it was a very big day for all of us dr kiran bedi is nominated as the honorable governor of puducherry we working with her she was going to visit the project site on may 17th 28 no 16 yeah so yes it was a big day and it was fun day earlier i was with the kids having fun great time we are celebrating preparing kids for their speeches making thank you cards making congratulation cards you know speeches letters for kiran at that time i get a call papa is a nice there is silence and my sister calls up and says sunny you have to leave take the first flight tomorrow and tomorrow is a function i had no choice children were messaging till 12 1 sir maine ye likha hai sir maine aise likha hai they sending me audio messages because whatsapp was in they were sending uh, clicking photograph and sending and next morning i take the flight i reach hospital i went straight there meet my mom outside the icu waiting hall i go to the doctor doctor explain you almost lost your dad i kept my then the story is awesome because he is fit and fine now enjoying life but i left navjyoti forever and uh, i continue to be a volunteer there so i'm blessed i had great time with navjyoti india foundation thousands of children and haritosh was the one who brought these things out otherwise we think yeah life hai ho gaya to kaise ho gaya and there were so many other moments like you know telling the universe that one day i'll be a chief guest in a school yes that was a feeling and i never thought about it that i had never spoken on any stage Uh, talking about this incident but yes 
that was a feeling I went through when I was not getting a business, any business in schools. And fast forward, it happened. I was before thousands of parents, teachers and children. So small things are brought out by the mentor. And I feel truly blessed <laughs> that I'm able to recollect these lessons. Thank you, Haritosh. One second. Thank you. Thank you, Saniji, for openly sharing that. I think uh, as, as the coaches and you yourself is a coach, when you see that coach is making equal effort with you or sometimes more effort than yourself, and being open and vulnerable in front of coach. You don't need to be open and vulnerable to everyone unless you reached a certain point, but you got to be open and vulnerable in front of your coach so that yeah, even even for the doctor to do the operation, you need to go there and say, okay, this is, this is the wound. Now you do whatever you do. So I think uh, thank you for the opportunity to help me uh, craft your uh, story, which is very, very impactful. And I love that both the stories of you taking a call, uh, prioritizing your family as well as saying that, okay, one day, just like Saru Khan said, hey, one day I will be here. This will be my, this will be my mansion. And you said one day I'll be here and, and there will be thousands of parents and uh, teachers and students who will be you know, respecting me as a chief guest. So that's completely transformation story. Now let's talk about a little bit more about your journey. So how has this uh, honing storytelling skills impacted your journey? It all started in the school itself. That time, yes. you know, it was a Chinmaya background. So I used to tell stories of Ganesha. In grade nine, I started telling stories. We were volunteers. But I didn't know that almighty universe creator was preparing me for bread and butter skills. It was preparing me for Navjyoti India Foundation as a teacher. Right. right. So we all think we are doing a great job. But universe doesn't need your services. <laughs> universe is only preparing you, is making ways so that you reach your destination. You get that treasure. It's a treasure hunt. Yes. Like how I became chief guest was again a, a story of volunteering. Yes. I was introducing the chief guest. It was Gita chanting competition, Chinmaya. I was doing MC. He liked me. I liked him. He invited me as a chief guest in his school. So from those school days, storytelling began and it continues. And storytelling has power. I'll give you another example of volunteering. Yes. I was doing volunteering, storytelling in the school, free of cost, Chinmaya Mission again. So same uh, year, I'm invited by the principal and the correspondent of the school. Why don't you do this? as a project with us for one year and here boom six lakhs same project where i was volunteering free of cost i get paid for it six figures wow so we should not think storytelling karke kya karega, naach ke kya this karega. is the perfect <laughs> example of people who ask okay can i really earn something using story this is the perfect example you earn six figures seven figures using storytelling uh, and doesn't matter whether you're doing it for school, for your clients, for your profession, it is applicable almost at every place. Awesome. So uh, next question, and I think you partially covered it, but I would love to know your highlight of the journey with what we spent together in last few months where you no, know, you were part of as a silver member and and yeah, I, I must say that you, know, you were not attending too many sessions, but then someone nudged you that, okay, yeah, you have something coming up, we do something and then you say, okay, it is time for me to upgrade to diamond membership. Now, after you upgraded to diamond membership, we started having this one to one connect. What has been the highlight of your journey? Diamond is definitely a diamond. It makes you stronger. Yes, you deal with some pressures. Pressure not from outside, mostly from inside. Right. You face your fears. You see the dark. You face the dark inside. And it is not about diamond anywhere. It is only diamond with Haritosh. You feel connected. Where you feel aligned. Where you feel comfortable and safe. Who matches your values. Who is also walking the same path. Like This is why this diamond membership was very special. A coach has certain traits. A great coach has more of these and polished ways. Also, the skills you're looking at, has that coach achieved? And who more than you has achieved in Toastmasters, in international stages, in different countries, with an Indian touch? 
So you are one who understands us, who knows us. And you are born with these capabilities and abilities genetically, having known you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I know that you can sense what Kochi is going. And you are not the one who will be, you know, rude or dominant or those manager types or boss types. You are a born leader. So the whole journey was so easy, effortless. You understood us and you knew, like the director, which role suits him, where to place it, how to bring out the best, what is his style. You didn't teach us theory. Come, Sunny, this is the book. These are the notes. Go, do it. It happened so effortlessly, with ease and peace, that you took us through a nice journey, a dance. So, you know, only you could do it. Thank because you. I understand genetically, not everyone is a born coach. Not everyone is a born leader. You are blessed with both the qualities, leader and a coach. I don't remember even once you telling me, ye nahi hoga, ye hoga. See, it was, even if you have to say this, you have a natural style of tweaking, asking questions, so that it is a painless surgery, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, who would become wisdom effortlessly, automatically, automagically. So, this is the gift we all have in Diamond, which we don't get in Silver. Silver is mostly group sessions, a lot of value, no doubt. We have our weekly masterminds, live sessions, recordings. Diamond has this special touch where it's not just about storytelling. Like Toastmasters say, where leaders are made. Yes, a leader is born in Diamond and confidence to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now let's move on to another one, which was the outcome, right? So the reason you upgraded to Diamond is because you had a keynote for the event Thrive Fest and I attended that event and I was fortunate enough to see your keynote in action as well. I was in the audience. So I have my own uh, feelings, but before that, I wanted to know how was that feeling like to present your journey in as a keynote and uh, and what kind of feedback and and other things you received afterwards so here i'll take a pause and i'm going to play a role of a great listener mm -hmm. the question is for you first now because <laughs> you were part of the event you were really fortunate to see my speech so i would love to hear from you because we had short time yes. we didn't have months to prepare we didn't have too many sessions what was your feeling if not as a coach and as a audience okay who's, who's seeing me for the first <laughs> so i didn't know the tables are going to turn but anyways thank you for asking <laughs> the question no, so i'm going to answer it both first as an audience and then as a coach as well so as an audience i was inspired uh, and if i if i didn't know that because i already knew all the story I could sense that all the other people were also inspired by your journey because a lot of pe lot of time when I see when I say that we all are showcasing our highlights, our wins, our achievement, but behind those achievements there is a curtain, and if you remove that curtain, there's a lot of failures, there's a lot of lot of problems, lot of challenges that we all have faced. So it's not easy to talk about those openly or even with your community. But what I loved as an audience is you openly sharing your challenges and also sharing what are the factors that has helped you in the journey and how they can apply. So that is as a feedback as an audience. As a coach, I wish we had more time. But having said that, even whatever time we had, I think you were brilliant. And I said to you after the, after the keynote as well, you did brilliantly. You were commanding the stage and uh, and a few people also gave a standing ovation, including myself, not because I had to, but I felt like giving because I wanted to give a respect for the, the content, for the command, for the concepts that you shared. So that was very good. So that's my feedback. But going back to you, what did you feel like and what was the feedback that you received afterwards? Yes, lots of love I received. And uh, coming to my own big day when I delivered that speech. Morning we were together yes. and on a nice calm discussion, you just said, hey, 
you know, Sunny, my mentor said, there are three stages for every speaker. He starts with, I can't do it. How will I do it? He says, Ab to maine kar liya hai. Ande, koi bhi ground pe de do, koi bhi stage de do, maine kar lunga. So from inferiority to superiority, there comes a transcendence. And you go to speaking to serve. Yes. It's not about you. It's about the audience. Where you are willing to share your message so that audience can lead a better life. Audience can take home a message. Audience are empowered to take home a message. To apply the same. It's not theory. And with that great vibration, I went up to the stage. Yes, I like the flow of my keynote, which was drafted by you because of you. The SUV. Yes, the SUV. So it was a beautiful journey, a necklace for anyone to wear, for anyone to have it as a gift. So this was a feeling I have and I continue to have. And the best part, even after the keynote was over, you had told me, Sunny, now use this. Master this piece to become a masterpiece. Yes. So when we master the pieces, we become a masterpiece. Now what happened was I was using one piece in one of the Toastmasters meeting. And it was an international club, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, the senior leaders, the top presidents, vice presidents from companies like DHL, the solo products, you know, the professors. First time in my life, in my Toastmasters journey, there came one comment, one compliment, which I, which is very close to my heart and I cherish it and I remember it. Well-crafted speech. Because that has never happened in my life. Me being always a table topics guy. I can talk effortlessly without topic. Impromptu, thinking on the feet. So for the first time in my life, I got this compliment from a very senior founding club president. So I'm thankful to you. Amazing. Amazing. So my next, uh, yeah, second last question to you is what are your uh, one or two advices for anyone who's getting on this journey to learn this magical skill of storytelling? What is your advice? Must follow Haritosh. Must follow this path. Yeah. Why? All of us are salespeople. All of us are communicating. NLP says, even when you're not communicating, you're communicating. Yes. So even our silence communicates. And sadly, we may pass all the exams. 1 plus 1, 2. Sine squared, theta plus cos squared, etc. etc. And, you know, all the angle of elevation, angle of depression. But communication skills, art of storytelling, art of being effective, art of being graceful, being that speaker, being that leader who inspires, who influences. And this important skill is the most well-paid, highest paid in the industry. True. The knowledge industry, the keynote industry, the speaking industry. Sadly, we never learn this skill. School does not teach us. Only the ones who are confident walk up to the stage, conducting assembly, doing MC. And that also dies off after Mm -hmm. a particular age. What if all of us take initiative to learn this? Not for money, but for self-growth, for inner expansion, for more harmony. And not sound boring sometimes. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. So... How can people connect with you? Because you do a lot of work of, you know, you're, you're one of the founders of Success for Coaches. You help a lot of life coaches get to six-figure monthly income. So how can people reach out to you? I'm available everywhere with the hashtag <laughs> Smiling Sunny. Also, all my handles call me as at the rate Brain Coach Sunny. I'm available on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I'm active everywhere. Awesome. So thank you so much. Smiling Sunny also. Sunny Nagpal, uh, it has been an honor and privilege to have you as one of the diamond members of the Confident Storytelling Hub. And it was my honor and pleasure to present you the Hall of Fame award in your event. I mean, I sort of hijacked your event for a few minutes <laughs> because you and, and Bina had no idea what is happening. But but I, I think it was my surprise as well as my honor to present the 
hall of fame award in person to you and that was truly deserving so thank you so much for being part of the community thank you for sharing your wisdom and looking forward to more such interviews and honors and awards in future as well thank you so much haritosh thank you confidence to it thank you thank you everyone so that was sunny nagpal also known as smiling sunny the hall of fame interview if you want to be the next hall of fame interviewee join the diamond membership of confidence storytelling hub let's work together on creating your keynote creating your career transition or creating your communication plan i'll see you in the next one until then take care stay safe and stay blessed